Some of the benefits include a reduction in dry matter volume and the solid fraction that you extract from the liquid can be stored separately. So you don't have to store it in your tank, you can store it in a midden or on headlands. Um, other advantages include that the solid fraction that you extract can be spread during closed spreading periods. Uh, it's easier to handle as well. If you've got an umbilical system, sometimes the reduction in dry matter can reduce cloggage, blockage in your pipes. Um, possible uses on grazing ground as well. Okay. And in terms of slurry dry matter, what percentage reduction would you expect by using a slurry, slurry separator you know, in the volume of slurry that you had? In terms of volume? Yeah. Well, for a really high dry matter slurry, as much as 8%, say, you could possibly get up to 20% reduction in volume, but as the dry matter of your original slurry decreases, so does the volume of reduction in percentage. Are there any disadvantages to using a slurry separator? Why wouldn't farmers use it? Well, possibly the low uptake it can be to do with the high initial capital cost of purchasing both the machine. So this could be around £25,000 just for the separating machine itself. Maintenance costs in the machine as well, depending on which technology you go for, it would be screw press, separator, centrifuge, or mechanical mesh grills. Uh, also, other costs include the infrastructure requirements, you know, having the, your building set up to receive the separator. Okay. Um, is there any scope to use separated slurry on grazing pastures? Certainly the fact that there's a lower dry matter content in separated liquid slurry means that on grazing ground, spreading that over a whole slurry could have higher infiltration, less sward contamination, which would obviously mean that it could be less rejection of the sward due to the sward contamination from slurry. And um, Dairy Corps are running a study at the moment, uh, which we're conducting at Crichton Royal Farm in Dumfries, looking at, starting this summer, looking at three different treatments, um, separated slurry applied by dribble bar, separated slurry uh, applied by broadcast application and comparing that to just an ammonium nitrate bagged fertiliser application and seeing what the grazing performance and behaviour is like. Um, and can separated slurry support grass growth for silage production systems? Yep, again uh, Dairy Co have been running a study, two year study, we're halfway through that, looking at different treatments of rates of slurry, comparing whole slurry, separated slurry with fertiliser again, um, both under dribble bar and shallow injection application methods and as I said, 10, 20, 30 cube per hectare rates of application. And yeah, we found that with just with slurry, with no additional bag vert, we can get up to nine tonnes of dry matter per hectare total take, total cut for the year.